Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 8, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we fell really drastically um, in early in European session. Uh, we fell all the way down to the 40 ex uh, exponential moving average and it basically pierced that exponential moving average. And I think this is basically a warning of things to come because we fell, and this was due to um, news for in Brexit, for example, which is back, we fell roughly... 1.48% with in just a, a minute or two, it absolutely collapsed uh, this currency pair. So we found uh, support here at the 40 expansion moving average, and now we have pulled back quite significantly, uh, making this um, I mean, hammer here. But if we look at the technical indicators, I think this is just a warning of things to come. We could uh, see a decline all the way down to the 50 moving average. That is possible. And the reason why I say that is because all of these technical indicators at the moment are turning around. MACD has crossed the signal line. The RSI is becoming uh, is much more bearish. The CCI is very bearish, so is the stochastic. And yes, that is probably um, very not a good sign, to be fairly honest. So if we break through the... 20 exponential and the 40 exponential that opens the door to the 50 and we'll probably find a massive amount of support here at the 50 but this is not a very stable market you just see a little bit of bad news in in uh, brexit talks and so on and this market completely collapse to the upside we can see that this area here um, is significant uh, resistant so even though you get close to this area here we'll find we will most likely break down again but this is a massive warning to this market here that we could go significantly lower in the next coming weeks so let's look at the US dollar yen we trying to rally and then broke down again we also have to say that most of these moves was due to the US dollar appreciating uh, quite substantially in the in the early hours of the European session and then Decline the depreciating again in the US session. So now it's roughly at zero zero uh, where it started um, today. So US dollar again, we rallied up towards the 20, 40 exponential and then broke down again. And at this point, we mostly will roll over here and head towards this uh, lower trend line. We are basically in a downward channel. And at this point, we have been trying to test these uh, three um, moving averages and we have been rejected here so if you get rejected this often you most likely fall down towards um, support and that is where we find this line if you look at technical indicators for this for this pair they're looking quite um, flat at this point and also fairly bearish so expect a pullback towards this line in the coming trading days so Euro US dollar, we trying to rally up towards the um, this um, uh, resistance area here at twelve seventeen and got rejected again. And at this point, I'm I would bet that we are, I'm actually betting that we are going to uh, roll over from here all the way down towards the twenty exponential moving average. So the twenty exponential is at eleven ninety nine or at twelve zero zero. Uh, roughly and that's the previous highs from here so we most likely will fall towards in that area and if that is uh, supported then we'll continue up from there these technical indicators for example rsi is significantly um, overbought at this stage the other technical indicators are turning around so we'll most likely see um, this currency pair um, turn around within the next few trading days so Aussie US dollar, very similar story here. You do clear things up here. So we broke down quite substantially, found resistance support here at the 20 exponential, rallied again, 
uh, to the very highs and then found resistance. And now we're basically stuck in between these two uh, support and resistance areas. If we manage to take out these um, in this resistance area, then we are going higher. If we, if we break down below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 40 and the 50. And at this point, I think that actually we are going to go higher. And this proved to be a significant support here, the 20 exponential, like it has been uh, for several times in the last few weeks. So if we break the top here, then we are going significantly higher, even though you have to became, uh, take into consideration that the RSI is very overbought at this stage. So, so buying here is very risky. I would prefer a pullback towards the 20 or the 40 and get the RSI down before um, betting to, to the upside at this stage. So US dollar can't. We rallied, but we, we didn't get very far. Um, I was hoping that we would get to 12. Um, 86. That was the previous highs uh, here uh, last Friday. And uh, well, we got halfway and then we broke down again. Uh, we are significantly, um, significantly oversold in this currency pair. We're at seven in the RSI. That is very, very, very low. Um, it is, it is expected for this to turn around and go higher as the RSI is this low at this stage. MACD is not ready to do that. Stochastic is showing signs of, of bullishness, and so is the CCI. Um, we mostly trade sideways and then go ahead towards the 20 exponential. That will most likely be the move here. Whether or not we break it, that is highly unlikely. As we can see, it has been significantly significant resistant in the, uh, in the past. So a move from here up towards the uh, 20 exponential, that's roughly 1.3%, uh, around uh, roughly 160 pips. So, so that is, is plausible from at this point to basically buy it up towards the 20 exponential. Because expect that because we are significantly oversold at this point. Um, it is not very likely that we'll break these lows anytime soon. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.